there are some happenings in nature that are too bizarre to be understood, one of which is the fact that some animals eat their young. As unthinkable as this sounds, there are quite a number of animals who are known to eat their young, from mammals, to birds, to fish. Cannibalism in itself seems cold and horrific. The thought of a mother, a father, or loved one eating babies is even more horrifying. The act where an adult eats the young of its own species is referred to as filial cannibalism. The puzzling question then becomes that of why. Why would the mother seemingly go against her maternal instincts and eat her babies? Or why would any animal kill their young? Researchers have been trying to answer these questions for years. Today, Animal World Plus will present some possible reasons why filial cannibalism occurs. Number one, to meet the nutritional needs. Some animals have been observed to feed on their offspring in a situation where food is scarce. This has been observed among polar bears when the source of food becomes scarce. It is not uncommon for mother bears who give birth to unhealthy and deformed babies to eat them when resources are scarce. The babies are then a resource that the mother cannot allow to be wasted. Calcium deficient chickens have been known to eat their young. In other cases, when an egg accidentally breaks, they eat the yolk in the event of the death of a mother's young she might eat it immediately as food and to prevent the carcass from attracting predators to her den, thus endangering the lives of her remaining babies. Number two, to have more chances to reproduce and for social dominance. The male blenny fish is usually charged with the responsibility of protecting the eggs laid by their female mates alone until they hatch. During this process, the male can become impatient and gobble up the eggs, especially if they are less than 1,000 eggs and wants a better batch. This provides the male blemmy with opportunity to start mating again as the testosterone levels remain low as long as their nest remains filled with their babies. When male lions take over a new pride, it is not uncommon for them to kill young cubs to get the nursing mothers in heat again and remove the competition. Number 3. To eliminate offsprings who do not mature rapidly. It has also been observed that some animals kill babies who are not healthy so as to pass on their healthy genes to the next generation. Also, some postulate that babies that take too long to mature and require that the parents expend more energy looking after them are not the best use of their parents' resources. Instead, the parents' energy is conserved for batches of new young that mature more quickly. Number four, to eradicate competition for their young. Some birds have been observed to kill cold breeders' eggs to increase the chances of survival of their own eggs. This also ensures that eggs face less competition for the few nutrients available to them. Some species of prayer dogs exhibit this treat. In case of the prayer dogs, it is another female family member that kills and eats the victim's babies. This leaves more resources for the prairie dogs later who's committed the crime. Number five, because of stress, fear, and to make life easier. It is quite common for female hamsters to kill their young, and they do it for a variety of reasons. When a mother hamster is overly agitated or fearful, she may devour her offspring. To avoid this, it is best that she is calm and in a quiet environment with little external disturbances. Female hamsters are very sensitive to their baby's scent. When handled, the scent of a handler may rub off on the young. This may cause the mother to reject them if she does not recognize them. Female hamsters might also kill and eat one of her young if she lacks the proper diet to cater for her needs and those of her children. She might also do this if the litter size is too large to improve the chances of survival of the healthier ones. Life in the animal kingdom can get really complicated, leaving us with many questions of why. In the case of why filial cannibalism occurs, there is no single general answer, and several possible explanations have been given as to why this phenomenon occurs across various species of animals. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and click the notification icon down below and do let us know what you think about filial cannibalism in the comment section.